Hello, this is Atsushi and this is the Sashiko live streaming. I am checking both on YouTube and just a second, okay? Instagram. Ali! Am I on? Just a second. Hello, hello. So this is the English this is the English version of the Sashiko live streaming. Thank you so much for waiting. Uh, I will do the Sashiko stitching while I make some Sashiko stitches. Just a second. Where is the YouTube? Please. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Let's start. Let's start. So in the previous Japanese live streaming, I was doing the regular Sashiko stitching, so-called Asanoka. Uh, this is the result so far. I have I was planning to finish it today, but it did not happen, so I have to do it again, which is which which is good, which is you know, good. And this time I will do a little bit of mending. Um, this is kind of closed closed area, so if you are if you like to check all the big picture uh, please visit the youtube sashi.co channel which i am broadcasting as well with the bigger picture and probably better resolution i guess over there and i will probably pick more comments on the youtube because it's easier to follow there here it's kind of difficult it's kind of difficult to stitch and check the instagram um, screen so <clears throat> So, 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 this is my work clothes. I wear these pants pretty much every time I work outside, like yard work or mm, painting, carpenting work, car carpenter work, um, pretty much everything outside. And due to the pandemic, I became a stay-at-home father, father again um, for the three months I didn't have that much chance to stay outside to work outside and I kind of left it, this one in the garage for a few months the thing is that, it, that this part was touching some bleach I guess it's like a detergent for the outside of outer house and the, this fabric was touching that bleach and I didn't know that bleach could melt the fabric. So it's, it's cotton fabric, but this part was completely fallen off when I when I found it out. Found it out. I washed it. It still smell like like a nice smell. Probably bleach or chemical did smell. Uh, this is probably the seam was used to be one of those. So this is accident. This wasn't an accident and I did not plan to make this hole. It looks like the hole that I made by cutting. I did not cut it. Uh, it's, it's the same thing. I wasted the fabric. At the same time, although it's an accident, I like to mend it somehow. And I stitched this denim fabric. This is the denim fabric from the um, old used damaged denim that I decided to not to wear. I stitched, stitched this one. Uh, I did the basting around it. I'm gonna do a little bit more basting today and then do the sashiko stitching over it. So I am going to have a good denim pant, not a denim pant, good fixed pants. So this is kind of preview of how I do mending. Uh, in the New York magazine, I told them that I would always stitch the patch first and this is the patch I stitched first already and uh, now this is the time to put the fabric I prefer to patch the fabric from the inside instead of covering from the outside uh, and this is let's do the base thing uh, there was a question in the previous live session in Japanese. The recommendation of the Sashiko thread, do I use the thick one or thin one? I use only one kind of Sashiko thread, of mainly. And everything is actually on my website. Uh, just, you know, go to the upcyclestitches.com and if you could search 
what kind of thread you'll get my recommendations and the answer to the sashiko for that uh, sashiko thread matters if you are struggling to not to be able to get a good sashiko result the first thing i would ask is what kind of thread you're using so thread matters if you use a good thread your stitches will be much much better so please please check the upcyclestitches.com and if you search for the article saying what well, like sashiko thread you should get a lot of information over there also actually on youtube i should have that too like thread matters so please check that out okay let's start with the basting this is just pure basting so there's no sashiko stitching technique it's just basting the fabric basting the fabric to the fabric well basting the patch to the existing one okay you should you should so today is is actually a live streaming of sashiko but i do more like a mending Make sure that I'm not bunching up in the fabric. So what I'm doing right now is not doing sashiko. So it, it's just the basting. Hello, hello. Please, quiet, up night, up night. Hola, hello. I believe I believe any culture, any sewing culture has this idea of basting, but I quite I think it's very important to have a good basting. It is pretty much waste of time for that matter. Like we will cut this basting off after all. So if you can if we can stitch without the basting, that's actually a really good idea to do in in terms of saving time. But from my experience, it's really a good idea to have the basting before doing any kind of patching works because the better I do the basting, the better the result gets. So the basting thread should be easily cut off when we don't need it. Easily we can find it easily where the basting thread is and also strong enough to hold the fabric together so you know any kind of thread is good for the basting but it is also a good idea to have a good basting thread as well
Good shot. So basting is done around. No. Okay. Basting is done around the damage area. Now let's see where. It I might talk less today because I'm actually doing some project instead of sashiko stitching. When I do sashiko stitching, I really don't have to talk about anything, but I mean, I don't have to use my brain, but when I actually do some project, I kind of have to talk. I mean, I, I have to think, so when I think, I talk less. Um, do I... <laughs> I answer that question. Do you do I recommend thicker thread or do you prefer one especially from Sashiko? Yes, I do only use this thread for this specifically purpose for Sashiko. And for the difference between what Sashiko thread is, please check the YouTube channel you're watching right now. Uh, Google for the Sashiko why Sashiko thread or Sashiko thread matters or I think it's in part of the Sashiko story. I talked about the difference between the Sashiko thread and regular thread and why Sashiko thread matters. Um, I only, well, not only, I use one specific Sashiko thread and I'm trying to expand that my preference to around uh, what can be a good Sashiko thread. What can be a, I'm sorry, what can be good for Sashiko stitching? but the answer is going to be long and it's already answered on the youtube so please check that oh not only youtube it's also on the upcyclestitches.com both of that okay let's try i am really artist thank you i still don't consider that Yep, um, I strongly recommend using this thread for sashiko specifically. Uh, some people say that any kind of sashiko is good. I mean, any any kind of threads are good for sashiko stitching. Um, it is true and false at the same time. They can, they can. We can use any kind of thread for sashiko stitching, but there's a reason that we recommend thread for sashiko specifically and any thread is good is a little bit too scary to say it when you have to actually do the sashiko stitching because it's gonna make a big 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 difference it's, it's gonna make a big difference so i hope you can you can get the information and then check that out. I don't think I can do this good Sashiko stitching without the Sashiko thread, if that's gonna help. So, thread matters. And some people say that the master doesn't ch doesn't choose the tools. Is there any like proverb like that in English as well? that's the master doesn't really choose the we have that in japanese master doesn't choose the tool to be skillful we we actually do <laughs> so the good needle good thimble good threads are something we i really need to have a good such old stitching okay so now i based it right i did a good amount of basting i did a well I could do more, but I did a good amount of basting. Now I will do stitch together. I was thinking about what to do, but the fabric is now sort of attached. It should be attached, yes. Okay, attached. And I did the sashiko stitching already on the back. And now what I do is to do the. I was thinking what to do, but. Mm -hmm. Oh, shh. Handmaids are very valuable in Iran. Wow, you're watching from Iran. Thank you so much. Yes, I, you know, I feel the same. 
the handmade ha handmade is something we do not used usually anymore but it's also very important to think about or keep practicing hello hello right, there we go so this is the sashiko st this is another reason i strongly recommend sashiko needles and sashiko thimble this is a thick denim layer very thick it's very 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 thick denim and then pretty thick uh, what do you call it? Cotton cargo pants? Hmm? <laughs> Sorry if I'm mistaken. So it has to be a good needle to have a good stitching on this. Let me try. Mm, there we go. There we go. Up. There we go. Super hard to push, but that's something we have to do. Sorry, I'm kind of quiet. <laughs> Sorry, let me speak what Japanese just wanted. Kata me chak chakatai. Me chak chakatai. It's so hard. I probably should have used thinner denim instead of this thick denim. But that was the denim I had in my stock. Suayay. I haven't done this for a long time, so... Kata. <laughs> Kata. Impossible show? What are you talking about? So, many people, probably many people who like denim mending, stitch from the front side which is there's nothing wrong with that but I would like to try to hide the damage much as much as possible so I would like to kind of stitch from the it is the pants it is the pants this is the pants of the leg <laughs> and the reason the guide not a guideline the overview of this project i explained that in the beginning of the instagram uh, live session so please check that after this one but this is the pants that i had a hole accidentally i didn't mean that but it happened by accident and i'm trying to fix it and this is the pants i wear outside all the time so i would like to make it much much stronger if i have to fix it so is it cargo pants? It's cotton pants. It's not a canvas fabric sticker. I'll show you the front after I stitch this much thread. Ah. 
Ah, oh, I can't even open that. Ah. So when I don't have to stitch two layers, I can go fast like this. But when I have to stitch two layers, it's super, super difficult. So when I do like this, a lot of movement. The good basting is very, very, very important. So make sure that you have a good basting. Otherwise, it's going to be very difficult to even stitch through together. I mean, it's only for the first few lines because after you keep stitching, the actual stitch become big. Ah, sashchatai. I'm I'm kind of stopping the blood. <laughs> nah. Hi, Tomari Master. Just a second. Now I have to do the Ideally, ideally I will do the old Asanoha patterns on everywhere, but I may shortcut some. I haven't decided what kind of patterns are gonna be on the front. I wanted to have the Asanoha patterns on the fabric to patch, but I don't know what kind of fabric I sorry, kind of patterns I should do on the front. Sorry, I'm, I'm not really talking today because I kind of cannot talk. <laughs> yes, I will show you the front after I stitch this much thread. Just give me five minutes or so. Eh, how should I So that. I usually talk a lot while I stitch in the live streaming because I don't really have to use my brain when I do such for stitching. But this is not a such for stitching, more like a mending project. So please forgive me for not being able to talk much. If it's just a simple such for stitching, I don't really have to use my brain, and I can just let it stitch, and then I can talk. But hello, hello. So when I mumble, I speak Japanese because I have to. I'm using my brain Japanese. Okay. 
is there a special skill to use it or is something that get easier um i think so the question is i've been doing small surgical work my cotton t-shirt using cotton scrubs and i have the hardest time pulling my needle through is there a special skill to use or is it something that it gets easier um it's actually a very common issues first please use the needle i recommend there's a very good reasons that i use this needle it's gonna probably if it's just the cotton t-shirt and cotton scrub it's not that hard like canvas or denim so it shouldn't be that difficult and make sure that you get a nice needle uh, some of the sashiko needle has a very big eye it's not gonna help because big eye is gonna make the fabric it, it, it's not good for the fabric if the sashiko needles have a big eye that means it's not good for the fabric so the sashiko needle I use right now is good at the same time the tulip has a big eye straight which is the big eye yet straight it's not the big eye only and that is another recommendation they made the needles based on our experience so it's, it's a good needle but at the same time I don't have that in stock in the US so if you could have the if you could try to use the needles I'm using right now it's gonna probably solve the issues and the second thing it really happens everywhere everybody so I usually tell that in my online class but kind of it's gonna be a hint I cannot like teach you teach you right now but the hint is that don't try to pull the needle just pull the fabric try to pull the fabric instead of trying to pull the needles out and I hope it's helpful the needles are our own brand our own needles that we ask the manufacturer to make so it is on my website and the website can be from our profile it's very specified yeah, it's very good for the sashiko stitching we do it's super sharp super sharp that even if you stitch the finger it, it of course hurts but the blood doesn't come because the hole on the finger is too small I don't know I might be just I stitched my fingers more than you know more than how many I don't know so I might be the one exception but the needle man like many people ask me the question like how can I do a better stitching how can I improve my skills um, mostly it's not about your skill of course of course of course of course learning skill is a very important thing so I want you to consider taking online workshop or learn from my YouTube but usually many problems can be solved by using the right tool not a right tool like tools tools can solve a lot of you don't need a so to cut your onion you don't need a screwdriver to cut your onion so just you know find the right tool and we introduce the right tool based on experience so if you could trust us a little bit you'll get the good tool I guess and I will show you the front side just a second after this much stitching <laughs> I don't want to make it philosophical, but try to not to pull. That's that's kind of a key. Um, after using the good needle, good thimble, then if you try to pull the needles out, it's not gonna happen. So try to not to pull it. Wow, it's so philosophical. I don't like it, but that's kind of the answer. Let's try it. Let's try it.
Ah, cara. There we go. I will show you the front. I hope it's not gonna damage anything. As of now. <laughs> After what ten after thirty minutes, I guess this is how what's going on. So uh, it's it's my preference. It's not a right or wrong, but I do not like personally. I do not like the stitching around it like this. I mean, it is it is very good, and I usually do that for the commission work because it's more secure. But there's a patch behind it, and it is a good idea to actually stitch all the edge like this, probably once or twice to complete the patchwork. It's gonna be very, very, very secure, so it's gonna be very good. Also, the idea of stitching on this edge is also a good idea to secure the fabric. I don't like. I mean. I, I, I wouldn't say I don't like it, but I like a more natural mending. Hi, Sakura. Hi. So, my idea of this one is that I have this Asanoha patterns already here. I do have a pattern already here, so I am now stitching over the exactly same pattern that I will have the patterns, continuous pattern outside of this too. Of course, since, since it has a two layers, it's not going to be as straight as I want. It's more like a patching or... Uh, it, it's going to be difficult. It's not going to be as clean as I wish, but at the same time, I think it's going to be natural. So Let's see. Let's see how it's going to look. I cannot say besides let's see, because this is the biggest hole I've ever had in my sashiko experience. The reason is, I don't cut the dam I don't cut the fabric off for the mending purpose. I don't like the cutting the fabric for the outlook purpose. Second, I usually fix the pa fix the hole way 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 before this much. <laughs> the third reason, this is a super pure natural accident that I didn't even expect. Uh, as I explained like I explained the beginning but um, over three years because of my homeschooling, I didn't realize that this much of the fabric was touching the bleach on my garage, which is like the bottom of the bleach was a little bit leaking. So this is the accident. It's, I think the fabric melted in the bleach over three months, probably more or less. But more than one month, it was the bleach was touching here and it was kind of started melting little by little, I guess. So it's really, really f soft here. And, you know, this is the seam. Seam was probably stronger than actual fabrics. It's like oldier indeed. So this is probably my first time. And it's it's really obvious that I what I mean. Like when I actually introduce some of the mending, it's kind of difficult to see because the hole is this small, or even like uh, invisible. So I thought this was a very good example and to share what I mean by stitching the patch together with the denim. That's what I kind of talked to the New York Times magazine that I'm not patching over, I just patch under and then stitch it together. So I don't know how it's gonna go, but let, let me check, let me see, let me see. Let's see. <laughs> I cannot say more than let's see. Uh, I have no guarantee that it looks good.
<laughs> no guarantee. Hmm. The patterns, how to draw this pattern is already on YouTube. I share that for free, so please check that out. Yes, Sakura, that, that's my needle. That, that. I'm, I'm thinking, just a second, okay? How about here? Sorry, I really don't talk. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I'm not I'm not talking that much. I usually talk a lot when I do the live streaming, but since this is not the regular live live like regular live streaming is like this. I keep stitching like without using any of my brain. It's just stitching. But today I have to do the like, mending, which is gonna require a little bit of thinking. So apologize for not being able to talk much. Ah, sorry. Well, the whole purpose of this de denim mending, or like any kind of mending, is to make the fabric strong. To make the fabric or the cloth or pants or any jackets to last longer. So I want to make sure that I'm not doing anything opposite, like damaging the fabric more or making the f life of the fabric less shorter. So I have to kind of think what is the, what is the best way to make the fabric last long. So it is true that by doing sashiko stitching, the fabric gets stronger. It is very true. However, The part you stitch, the part I stitch, will get stronger, but the part I didn't stitch will get weaker in comparison, in con in contrast. So, without a good planning, without a good blueprint, it could, it could, it, it, not always, but it could end up with damaging the whole denim. So I have to kind of be ah, I have to be careful about that. And if I'm careful, I'm thinking, and it's outside of my rhythm, so those accidents happen. So, as I said again, I this is my first time to do this big denim mending, so I have no idea how it's gonna look. If it's smaller hole and you know smaller a smaller area, 
it's kind of easy to visualize but this is a little too big of the hole that I'm doing so let's laugh if the result is not that cool let's laugh together <laughs> it could you know laugh is good So not even. This one will just move a little bit of wood here. I can't talk today. Oh my gosh, I cannot talk. I usually talk while I stitch, but where is my brain? Like, ah, yeah, I'm using my brain. That's why I cannot talk. But well, it does. It means that I'm not using brain when I do the live streaming. Usually, I mean, I am using brain to talk instead of stitching. I don't really use my brain when I stitch, but today I'm actually stinking. Well, that's good, but. So weird. I'll show you the front after I stitch through the necessary part. <laughs> Sorry, I spoke Japanese. It's 
I want to swear, but I don't want to swear anything. Any bad? I want to say any bad word. I don't want to say any bad word, but I want to. So I use Japanese instead. Cut. You may wonder if my hands are gonna be painful. Not really. That that's one thing I can say that I, it's not really. I'm not using the muscle much. You know, all the force comes from the symbol, so it's not really tiring in terms of the hand or finger. It's just I see a super super extra um, pressure from the symbol. That's why it's. I can I say so hard, but all of the power is coming from this symbol, so it's not that difficult to. I mean, it's not that painful in terms of the hand. Okay, I'll show you the front side now. Let's see. Well, I probably have to keep stitching. I mean, as of now, it's not that cool because I don't see any patterns showing. Also, this is not stitched through. This is the risk of that. But if I probably keep stitching, oh, this is not good. I mean, the stitch itself is good, and it's already patched very strong, strongly. So the the comparison, like this one and this one, ay ay, ay ay. Let's go. Let's see. It's it's kind of not a good idea to patch this too thick fabric. <laughs> I am doing it, so I, you know, I'm the one who is doing it, but let's see, where did I So now, so there now. You do? Okay, thank you. I'm glad that everybody, like many people, likes it. I am not still happy yet, so I have to kind of wait until... Mm, what time did I start? It wow! It has been all, all wow. This live streaming ends within like in one hour. You sh still sh what time did I start? So probably I will stop in ten minutes or so. Thank you so much for watching. I will come back next week. I'm not gonna. I will do this project only on youtube so you can see the progress which i kind of started already without youtube but only um, without live streaming so i will do it with the live streaming as much as i can so you will be able to see the result mo uh, result more 
and process like I it is my goal to share the unedited version of Sashiko that I do um, it's probably rare to see somebody's working on Sashiko many people we share sometimes photos and videos but you know it can be edited uh, when we can edit video or photo we can do pretty much anything and edit later I as much as I want to share those things I would like to share the actual like view and edited and edited view of Sashiko stitching and this is one of those so if you could keep following that'd be great I'm still thinking still thinking 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 yes And many people, probably some people, not many people, some people understand that what I'm doing right now is the Sashiko stitching. It is Sashiko stitching, but it's not like the. Ah, it's more like mending. And Sashiko is actually a technique of mending, but also it's more than that. Uh, what I do as the Sashiko is like this kind of running stitch, rhythmical running stitch, which I was doing in the Japanese live streaming because I wanted to talk instead of being quiet and focus on the project when I do those like regular Sashiko stitching I can talk I don't have to use my brain so I will usually do that kind of Sashiko stitching instead of this mending project but I, it is my goal to share the original view of Sashiko stitching Hello. <laughs> My stomach is growling, so it's time to eat. I forgot to eat breakfast. Well, not forgot, I didn't eat breakfast. <laughs> so by any chance, if the live streaming stopped in the middle of my talking, I broadcast this live streaming on two platform, one YouTube and one Instagram so please check either account so I might be able to close up close the live stream properly properly uh, anything can happen uh, since I have two platform for the recording you can always come back to watch usually YouTube is much easier to view it because you can control it easily but it's up to you which platform you use
硬いこれやだ<笑>やりたくないぐらい硬いはい。Stop it here and then front is as of now, like, ah, like, ah, yay. It's gonna be more probably visible when it comes to more patterns, but since it's really thick. There's a little stitches, one stitch is missing here, one stitch missing here. It, I stitched, but I didn't stitch through the two layers, which is my mistake, so I'll have to do something. But I think it's gonna be good when I keep stitching all of the patterns. So, let's see. It, it's not a bad start, it's gonna probably be good a little later. So as I said, like it, it is very good idea to stitch around the fab around the patch. It is there's no no not a problem at all. Um, also, it's probably standard right now in the mending to stitch around the hem. It is also a good idea, but it's not my preference. So I am going to stitch through everything based on the patterns I stitch already. So let's see let's see how it's gonna turn out. I'll. Keep doing this in the Instagram and YouTube live streaming. I'll do the exact same thing next week so you can see the actual progress. Yes, so it, it was, I think it's the same size. The swatch was like this it's a different, different fabric, different. Uh, this is double thread, this is single thread. So it's a different thing, but it, it was the same pattern, same idea. So it was like this fabric, and then now it's like this. So let's see, let's see how it's gonna go. All right, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week.、Uh, if you have any questions, leave the comments. I will try to answer that when I can.、Um, if not, have a good weekend. Bye bye. Okay, thank you so much for the YouTube as well. I will come back next week around the same time.、Um, I don't know about this yet. <laughs> I said it good. I said a good thing about.、Mm, I'm very in between about this. It might look great, it might be a little bit of failure. Let's see. Let's see how it's gonna go. Alright, thank you so much for watching.、Um, I will do it regardless. I will complete it no matter what. So, because、I'm, I have to wear this next winter, I really have to, I need this pants. So, I, regardless of how it looks, I'm gonna keep stitching. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week. Bye bye. Adi?